Well, it was breakfast with the Utes as Utah hosted Northern Illinois at 11 a.m. this morning in their home opener. Zach Moss coming off a huge game against BYU had another solid performance today, although the Huskies got on the board first. Russ Bowers literally flips into the end zone. Ooh, 7-0 NIU. But the Utes get it going in the second quarter. Damari Simpkins on the end around. He goes 13 yards. We're tied at 7. Utah then takes the lead. When Tyler Huntley keeps it himself, he goes 16 yards for the go-ahead score. The Utes flexing their muscle. They're up 14-7. After the Huskies tied the game, Utes score their third touchdown of the quarter. Zach Moss just trucks a guy. Boom! Blows him up. On his way to the end zone, Utah up 21-17 at the break. Second half, it's all Utes. Moss rushed for 80 yards, two touchdowns. This one made it 28-17. And after a lackluster first half, the Utes defense was dominant in the second half, allowing just 69 total yards. Bradley and I had three sacks himself. Utah, Utah defense forced a turnover. Julian Blackman comes up with his second interception of the season. The offense still is yet to allow a sack or a turnover. Huntley comes back and throws his first touchdown this season. On the very next play, it's a 29-yarder to Jalen Dixon, and Utah wins it 35-17. The Utes win their 12th straight home opener. Dana Green was at the stadium and has her post-game report. Well, for the second straight week, the Utes blew open a close game in the second half. The defense completely shut Northern Illinois down, while Tyler Huntley, Zach Moss, and the offense had their way right from the get-go. If we can get the pass game going, it's always going to help the run game, and the run game going is going to help the pass game. So, I mean, as long as everybody's working hard and executing their plays and winning their, their, their one-on-ones, it would be very good. Mainly, we just built off last game. Uh, we ran the ball a lot efficiently, and we knew coming into this game they was going to stack the box. So uh, play action passes was easy for Tyler to uh, connect. Took us a little longer to get control of the game than we would like, but we eventually got control there in the second half. First half was kind of back and forth. I mean, didn't play our best football defensively in the first half. Offensively, however, we did. We played very well from start to finish. I thought Tyler was outstanding. They came out, they scored on us on our first um, home game here at our own stadium. And uh, we were ticked off to do something, you know, to come out and play harder. There's still some things that we got to work on, but, you know, right now we're looking really good. The offense is looking really good. Another you know, reason why we were in the game at halftime, and then, you know, we started making our adjustments and we, we got going. They didn't score in the second half. Next up, the Utes kind of get an easy test before Pac 12 play starts as they host Idaho State right here at Rice Eccles Stadium. Dana Green, ABC4 Sports.